The souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven. The saints who follow the footsteps of Christ. And since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exalt with Christ forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We commemorate today the memorial of Saints Perpetua and Felicity Martyrs. Stepping into the sacrifice of the table of the Lord. Let us seek the intercession of our Lord by calling to mind our sins and acknowledging our human weakness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, at the urging of whose love the martyrs, St. Perpetua and Felicity, defied their persecutors and overcome the torment of death, grant, we ask, by their prayers that we may ever grow in love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Listen to the command of our God, you people of Gomorrah. Wash, make yourselves clean. Take your wrongdoing out of my sight. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Search for justice. Help the oppressed, be just to the orphan, plead for the widow. Come now, let us talk this over, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. If you are willing to obey, you shall eat the good things of the earth. But if you persist in rebellion, the sword shall eat you instead. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will show God's salvation to the upright. I will, I will show, show God's, God's salvation, salvation to, to the, the upright. upright. I find no fault with your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I do not ask more blocks from your farms, nor goats from among your herds. I will, I will show, show God's, God's salvation, salvation to, to the, the upright. upright. But how can you recite my commandments and take my covenant on your lips? You who despise my law and throw my words to the winds. I will show God's salvation to the upright. You do this, and should I keep silence? 
Do you think that I am like you? A sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me, and I will show God's salvation to the upright. I will show God's salvation to the upright. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Repent, says the Lord, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Addressing the people and the disciples, Jesus said, The scribes and the Pharisees occupy the chair of Moses. You must therefore do what they tell you and listen to what they say, but do not be guided by what they do since they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy burdens and lay them on shoulders, but will they lift a finger to move them? Not they. Everything they do is to attract attention, like wearing broader phylacteries and longer tassels, like wanting to take the place of honor at banquets, at the front seats in the synagogues, being greeted obscurely in the market squares and having people call them rabbi. You, however, must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi, since you have only one master and you are all sisters and brothers. You must call no one on earth your father, since you have only one father and he is in heaven. Nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers, for you have only one teacher, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Anyone who exalts himself will be humble, and the one who humbles themselves will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We step into this week with the whole team of the Transfiguration. Listen to him. We step into this whole experience by acknowledging the words, this is my beloved son, listen to him. You find this in the opening line of today's first reading from the prophet Isaiah. Hear this, you princes, you rulers of Sodom. Listen, you people of Gomorrah. It's there. And then the whole string is given by Isaiah, what you have to do in listening to it. The kind of relationships you have with God, the kind of relationship that you encounter with people around. And Jesus tells us today, as you are listening to the voice of the Father, listen to the voice of people around you. Listen to the orphan. Listen to the downtrodden. Listen to those who are struggling. There is also a cry out there. It is both what you hear from God and what you hear around you. And the words today are very simple. Just do not say it, but do it. There are many things that is happening in front of us, but we see it, but do we act upon it? Last week I spoke about this whole thing about pulling weeds in the garden of our soul. I just want you to remember that this week and these days as you draw close into the whole experience, Lent is always about the work of the soul. It is all about the work of the soul. How the soul is able to listen to God, how the soul is able to listen to others. When you look in scriptures, when you step into scriptures, there is two beautiful ways that Jesus says that I am ever present. There is two beautiful ways. One is the Eucharist, we all know that. 
He's always present in the Eucharist. But he also says, I'm also present outside. I was hungry. I was naked. I was in prison. I was thirsty. I was a stranger. When you're able to listen to that voice of God, you're able to listen to that voice of others. And God reveals himself every moment. The word of scriptures today is just two things. It's about the integrity of the soul and the humility and the simplicity to others. We ask the Lord the grace today, as much as we keep listening and listening that the soul may hear, we are able also to listen to the stranger, the naked, the thirsty, the hungry, the one who is downtrodden. There is also a cry. Christ in me, Christ in others. Christ in me, Christ in others. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer. Which you has given in human and submit, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we joyfully offer, O Lord, this day of sacrifice, recalling the heavens and victory of St. Perpetua and Felicity, we proclaim by it in your mighty deeds and rejoice at having gained their glorious intercession. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, and contribute to the feeding of the poor, so help imitate in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, and with one voice we praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, o Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke it, he gave it to the disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which should be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and John Paul II, Saints Perpetua and Felicity, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We'll offer that peace to one another. Lamb, Lamb of God, God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only, only say, say the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be healed. For the sake of Jesus, we are given up to death. For the sake of the life, may we be manifested in mortal flesh.
Let us pray. As we draw everlasting joys, O Lord, from our participation in the sacrament and from the memorial of saints Perpetua and Felicity, we humbly implore that by your gift we may truly understand what you grant us to enact in diligent service. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. A prayer for Lenten grace. Loving, Loving God, God, during, during the, the sacred, sacred season of Lent, Lent bring me closer, closer to, to you. Prepare, prepare a place in my home and heart for, for silence, silence and solitude. And so that I may rediscover the grace of a prayerful life. Help me to fast from those things that threaten the well-being of body and soul, and remind me of the grace of simplicity. Enlarge my heart so that I give to those in need, and in so doing, rediscover the grace of gratitude and generosity. May, May this season be a grace-filled time to rekindle my love and faith in you. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Same, Same to you, Father. Father.